Good evening, guys. This is Joyce Jack Rabbit, Joyce All Knowing Tarot. I hope everyone is doing fine. They closed down Michigan, so here we are, confined to the house. Uh, the only things that are supposed to be open are essential businesses like pharmacies, grocery stores, gas station, uh, that type of thing. The funny thing is, though, I have uh, two daughters that work at Popeye's and they are considering that essential and so they are at work at Popeye's So I thought today I would do a celebrity reading on a particular couple and this is on Common and Tiffany Haddish If you remember correctly, they were dating I guess for a minute and then they broke up and Tiffany she actually went online and wrote some things. I don't know if it's on Facebook or Instagram where she was bashing him. <laughs> and now all of a sudden they're back together. So I really wanted to see um, what they have in common. Why would they be together? To me, uh, it seems like an odd couple, but I have no idea what the universe and the stars have that makes them in common. So I thought I would look into it. So... Um, let's take a quick look and guys remember if you like what you are seeing if you're enjoying my company please feel free to subscribe like comment let me know who you want me to do a celebrity reading on I'd love to do it for you <clears throat> the first person I'm gonna look at is common and um, that's not his official name but that's what we're gonna call him anyways and his birthday is March 13th, 1972. So that makes him a Pisces. If I look at his numbers in his early days, that March is a three. And that looks like um, he had a kind of a troubled childhood. He was sort of feeling often like he was the victim or being picked on or not good enough. Or, And then on the other hand, he could have a great time and be the life of the party and be a lot of fun and be extremely creative and crafty, which is what he was. Um, right now, he is in his number 13 because it's March 13th. And so we don't do 13. We do 1 plus 3 equals 4. And right now, he is really concerned about taking care of his business, making sure that he's organized. Um, he dots his I's. He crosses his T's. He can be a little bit fussy. He can be, um, I don't know, sort of come down on you or be a little bit critical of someone who doesn't do things the way he wants them to do because he can be a little bit stubborn in that area. Um, he really likes stability, though. He also likes partnerships, but he would like to be with someone that is fun, fun-loving, bubbly, and also is not afraid to open up and show their emotions. His life path, if I add up his um, birthday month of March, that's 3, 13 for the day. And he was born in 1972, and that comes all the way down to a 1. So we have 3 plus 4 plus 1 equals an 8. A number 8 is, it tells me one of two things. Either he is going to have a lot of wealth and a lot of money and a lot of managing businesses, um, as well as being harsh and critical and a very sharp tongue, and wants a queen in his life, or on the other hand, money will slip through his hands. Uh, he never can hold on to it, but he'll still be critical and harsh. And you know, that guy that I'll, when you say, do these, does this outfit look right? And you, you kinda think it does, you're not really sure, he's gonna tell you no. Or if those jeans don't look right on your butt and you ask him, he's gonna tell you no, he's that guy. Um, kind of a little bit like Ray J was, but a little bit harsher. Um, I think he wants to just keep it real, but oftentimes keeping it real can go wrong. Right now, because it's 2020, that's the number four year. And if I add up his birth month at three and his birthday, 13 plus the four, that tells me he is in a number 11 year and that is a master year. Heavy year to handle, so I'm going to narrow that down to a number two. And this year, he's going to have more than one option. He might be talking to more than one person, actually. He'll have several different projects going, whether they're making music or um, helping people with music. He'll be doing a couple different shows or movies. He'll have a couple different friendships female friendships relationships but everything is going to come to him in two so he could find himself with two refrigerators two cars i'm sure he probably has most of that anyways but it's going to be that kind of a year 
when I look at his um, birth chart, he has a son in Pisces, like I said. And I'm just going to give you just a very brief overview. Pisces tend to be very sensitive. Um, they can be dreamy. Um, they're very emotional. They're sweet people. They're very much like old souls. And that's why he always comes across to me like he's way older than what he is. But he, he's, he isn't. Um, one thing that Pisces need are a lot of time alone. They are very good, really good, and one or two things really good at it. And they need that time alone to dream about how to make that one thing better than good, like great or what have you. And he really likes that. His rising sign um, is a Cancer, another water sign, two water signs. So once again, Cancers tend to be a little bit crusty on the outside, but once you get to know them inside, they're very mushy. They're very soft. And so that's him. Um, he's the type of person that he just doesn't open up to the first person come along. But if he feels like he uh, loves you or he trusts you, he can be funny. He can be fun. He can be lighthearted. He can open up with things that happened to him when he was a kid and um, secrets that he has. He he does that. He's very uh, sentimental. Family means everything to him. His personal family relatives, parent, whatever, they mean the world to him. And if you have the nerve to not appreciate him, them the way he does or say something disrespectful about him, that would end that relationship because he will fight for them to the end. Um, his moon sign is in Libra. And with Libra being there, he has a tendency to be a little bit indecisive. He's um, very charming, uh, attractive, indecisive on certain matters. Um, he doesn't like to be rushed. He doesn't like to be overlooked. Um, he's very, um, he looks very suave and well put together. That is his moon in Libra. That means everything to him. His Venus on how he loves, his Venus is an Aries. So he's a passionate lover. He is very affectionate actually. The thing though with his, in his love life with that Aries and his Venus, he doesn't want to be tied down. And that is the reason why you see him with this person and that person. And the interesting thing is, is that he values family. He values love. He values sentimentality. He will listen. He's a shoulder that you can cry on. You can lean on him, you know, and people can be all of that, but still not want to be tied down to one person. And he just is not wanting to be too tied down um which makes me think did tiffany want more for him than what he was offering did she say more or show that she wanted more his mars in, in fact of where he gets angry it's in taurus so he isn't quick to anger he has a tendency to when he's upset he'll go quiet he'll hold his feelings inside he'll hold his anger inside and if you know anything about anger and health and well-being that's not good for anybody but he has a tendency, tendency to do that. He will um, let himself become upset if you really back him up in a corner. And then he's going to come at you like a bull in a china cabinet. But he's very slow and thoughtful and careful on every move that he makes. So that says to me, oh, okay, he's not tying down with... with uh, I think he was with Serena and Angela Rye and now this Tiffany Haddish thing because <clears throat> he's he's thinking he has to think everything through. And the tourist men I know are not quick to tie down like that. Now, I don't want to just generalize because there are some that do, but um, they tend to like that space. And once again, in his Venus, his sign of love, his plan of love, Aries doesn't want to be tied down. They would like to explore. They're like the babies of the... Um, astrology that the babies of all the signs so they're so busy trying to discover and explore new opportunities um, his Saturn is sort of like that's your papa plan what was your father like and it ends up like it's a Gemini and so that tells me that dad was in and out in and out that dad was extremely bright very intelligent taught him a lot about the world uh, and it could be father, father figure, uncle, grandfather, but there were men around him that were extremely bright that taught him how to be a man, to handle his business like a man 
and um, and he and he does. To be honest with you, um, I have great respect for him as a man. As far as I know, um, he can really be. He's able to express himself. He has clear thought. He's careful about what he says because he doesn't like to be wrong. That's that little Gemini part of him, and he can be changeable. Um, so he's sort of a mix of things, but primarily he is sweet. He's charming. He's emotional and doesn't want to be tied down. Now, if I look at Tiffany Haddish, her birthday is December 3rd, 1979, which makes her a Sagittarius. And um, her, for her um, numbers, December is the 12th month, so one plus two is three. And then she's born on the third. And then her year, 1979, come, becomes an eight. And that makes her a number five. And so that's her life path. Her life path is a five. So it's a life of changes and movings and changing what she looks on the outside and different hair that she has and the outfits she goes, she has and the things that she believes in and lots of traveling, lots of coming and going. And so in a sense, this relationship would work because he says he doesn't want to be that tied down and she's always traveling and going and that probably feeds right into that comedy aspect. What they have in common, though, <clears throat> he's got a number three and a 13, and then she's got a number three, and then a number three for the 12, one plus two is three. So they both uh, can have a pity party. To tell you the truth, they can both feel like they're not as accepted in the Hollywood world or uh, some aspect of that. They're not as accepted. They're not they didn't cross the line into the A category. They got close to it, but they didn't um, make it. And so they don't look at necessarily, I could have done this or that better. They look at what's been done to them. Um, this year, though, her personal year, she's in a number one year. And so if they can make this relationship go this year, well, actually, uh, no, that, that year is not going to count kick in until... December I'm sorry to say no she's in she's still in her number nine year from last year because we just got through December and the new December hasn't started yet so she's in a number nine year so that tells me that this relationship is probably not going to last this relationship is going to probably break her heart and hurt her feelings she's in a number nine year right now and not until next this next December coming up this year December 2020 will she start a number one year where she'll start fresh. This year, she's going to feel kind of hurt. She's going to feel like people have betrayed her. She's going to feel as though she's going to have to cut ties. She's going to make a major move somewhere across the country. Uh, it could even be out of the country, but I don't know. For some reason, I don't necessarily see that. I think she owns a home in California, but it doesn't mean she can't move. But she's going to make some real uh, changes. She's going to make internal changes of how she looks at herself and then she looks at the world. And she's going to cut people out of her life that are not helping her do better or feel better in her life. And she's got uh, some heartache coming up. She does. She has got some disappointment coming up. And I think she probably is experiencing it with this person. Um, like I said, her son is in Sagittarius, so she's intelligent. She's on the go, which goes with her number five. Uh, she likes fun. She likes freedom. She takes care of her business. She is a type of person who is a an honest person she's going to tell you exactly what she thinks and what she feels and she is not even playing like you think oh she can't mean that when she says that yes she does she says what she means and she means what she says her rising rising sign is in pisces and his rising sign is in cancer so those are two water elements so with that being said there's a commonality there of um emotions where she is just like him in the sense of being dreamy and dreaming of big things they want to do and big plans in the future. Um, and both of them time, kind of need time apart. They don't mind being by themselves doing something, working on their craft or projects or hobbies or whatever. Um, but she's very sensitive and she's very emotional. Um, her moon sign and moon signs really are like, what was your parent like? It's your mother, that is, um, is a Gemini. So that tells me that her mother, with um, having this moon in Gemini, her mother was the one that was on the go, coming and going, 
coming up with plans and schemes and ideas and seeing them through and then not seeing them through and being extremely changeable, but at the same time, extremely intelligent, very well read, very humorous. Um, now this could be her mother, grandmother, whoever was the female that had the strongest influence on her, or it could be, and I think that, am I getting this right? She was, um, adopted foster something like that but she was around someone that female that offered her this way of looking at life and taking it easy and laughing at life it which goes along with um commons moon was libra and that meant his mother was um first of all she was very protective of her son if you bothered him or got up in his face she was going to curse you out period um, she was very strong, opinionated. She was very intellectual, um, educated type of person his mother was. So that kind of goes in conjunction with Tiffany's mom, not necessarily as educated, but street star smart, could be even book smart in some way. Um, Venus is her, in her Venus is Capricorn. So with it being in Capricorn, she tends to be uh, a little bit guarded on that. She doesn't really like to pour her heart out emotionally. Um, she's not quite as affectionate as Common can be. His Venus is an Aries, so he's got a lot of passion and touchy-feely and all of that. And she's a little more reserved in that aspect of it. Um, she has to really know you, really feel comfortable to kind of let you in. And even with that being the case, she only lets you in to a certain degree. She keeps a part of herself to herself. And I think that's good dealing with him because he is dreamy and charming and he can get you to want to open up everything. And then when you open up, boom, you feel hurt. And I kind of think that that happened in their situation. Um, her Mars is in um, Saturn. And uh, that means that she is, um, well, excuse me, her, I should say her Mars and her her Mars and her Saturn are in Virgo. So with her Mars and Saturn in Virgo, once again, she's very careful. She's extremely down to earth. Um, she's orderly. She's organized. She wants things to be perfect in her life. And if things aren't perfect the way she wants or she plans, it really bothers her. She gets to feel a certain way. And that way isn't necessarily a good way. Um, so here you have two people that are both emotional and sensitive, um, passionate, well, common is passionate. Um, she will open up her feelings, like I said, after she gets to know you, but at the same time, they have this kind of pity party thing going on. So I don't know how good that is to be with someone where we both are having a pity party. I, if I'm a person that's always, um, feeling negative or bad or whatever. I want somebody to cheer me up, not jump in the hole with me, help me get out the hole. And on the other hand, they both like to be the life of the party. They like to drink. They like to um, have fun. And sometimes you need somebody also there to say, hey, that's enough. Let's go. <laughs> so they're not real good with that with each other. But what they can do is criticize each other a lot. And that's not really positive. You can't have a positive relationship if we're always finding what's wrong with each other because nobody is perfect. And if you didn't come to the relationship with your cup full, you're going to have a tendency to buy into what your partner says about you that isn't good. Let me take a look and see what the cards say. Let me go down like that. See, I learned it's better to use two hands. What's around Common and Tiffany's relationship? What's around Common and Tiffany's Haddish's relationship. <laughs> I can see Common right in my mind. Common is uh, hard-headed. And then so is Tiffany. They both are hard-headed. Neither one of them think that they are wrong. He'll have a tendency to back down a little bit, but then when his back down is, I'm going to back down, but I'm going to back up too. And she wants to be heard. She wants to be heard and respected. But she raises up the volume on him. He doesn't like that. What's around? And 
So let's ask, what's the outcome of Tiffany and Common's relationship? Tiffany. Tiffany. Ooh, okay. And I think I'll do 10 cards. First card up came Ace of Spades. So one thing around them is money and money opportunity and work. They need some work. I guess everybody probably does right now. It's kind of, everything's kind of closed down, but money is around. Does that mean money coming to them? I don't know. Oh, they had to go get that money. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yep, it's what I thought. So there is money around, but they have to go and get it. And I told you she is a number five life path. So that's her. She goes and gets that money and makes it happen. Um, he's not there. He's not taking money. He's got his own. That's not it. It's just that she has to stay on the road and she has to stay busy. And sometimes distance, you know, there's an old saying, and some of you know that saying, that distance makes the heart grow fonder. But that's not the case in this situation. And here we have two people trying to juggle their situation. You can see behind them that that water is, look at this. This is rough sailing. It's rough in this relationship. It's rough sailing. And they're trying to hold on. One person is a little bit ahead of this game than this one. And I would think that this is Tiffany right here because um, she's out there and she's doing the most. And that might be common right there. And that would make him feel a certain way. But they're trying to juggle and balance this relationship. And then, boom, there's Tiffany, that queen of pentacles. That is an earth sign, a Capricorn, a Virgo. Um, what is my other? A Taurus. In this case, she is a... Um, well, she's actually a Sag, but her money is around that Capricorn and that's her holding on to that money. She's the one that's got the money and she feels like I, you know, pay the cost to be the boss. I'm running me. She's got a beautiful home, a beautiful garden. She must live in California because this reminds me of the ocean here and she's together. Her problem can be though that she has anger. She's got some anger issues. Um, she's good. You see the white. She's good. She can see through people. She is not a fool. She does foolish things, but if it pays, she's going to do it. She's going to get that bag no matter what. And guess what? She don't care what you think. She don't care. She's going to get that money. She's going to get that bag. Um, but then we have this, and this is Common right there. And Common wants to be the boss, okay? <laughs> Common wants to be the boss. He wants to call the shots. This is the emperor, and this is what I call Zaddy. This is Zaddy Daddy. He is that guy that wants to tell everybody what to do. He knows better than everybody what they're supposed to do in their life. Listen, I'm not saying that he is not wise. In fact, he is very wise. He, too, has a tendency to be sometimes angry, sometimes passionate. Uh, he's not acting out. He's not a person that will act out, but he's a person that can... Uh, call shots and he tries to call shots in this particular relationship and that makes her feel a certain way there it is he wants to be the one that dictates how maybe her career goes or suggestions you know how people over suggest things for you and you don't need a suggestion you just want someone to talk to yeah that's him he's going to suggest it he's going to fix it he's going to tell you what he thinks on everything he's not going to hold anything back on you whether you want to hear it or not and then ultimately that causes this these are fights and arguments and harsh words that are being said and very emotional turbulent water and people with hurt feelings and i'm not going to say that guy standing there is common i'm not going to say it's tiffany tiffany i'm saying it could be either one 
They both have a tendency to have anger and to act out. Uh, not necessarily put hands on, not that, but I don't mean, I mean speak out. Let's say it like that, to speak out or to say things out of anger that hurts the other person. They both do that. And that's what's coming between these two. The fact that they're trying to juggle money, there's juggling money issues, there's argument issues. And sometimes if money is funny, um, arguments can ensue. And that's kind of what hap what's happening. She's afraid that this isn't going to happen. This is Tiffany. She's afraid that she's never going to meet that right guy for her. This is one of the best guy guys that I love this guy. In the deck, this is the king of wands. This is an intelligent guy. This man is passionate. He's thoughtful. He's thinking without being overly emotional, without being overly harsh or, <coughs> excuse me, critical or pointing fingers or shutting down or walking away. All those things that can happen with common, that's not him. He's there. He listens to everything that's on your mind or what's hurting your feelings or what didn't happen. And he doesn't offer free advice. He'll give you advice if you ask for it. And this is something that she wants. She wants someone who's stable. If you look at him, he's sitting here on stable ground. He's not like, okay, I'm, I'm the king of the world. That's no, no. He's like, we, us. Okay. Not me and I. And that's what she's afraid she's never going to find. They both are celebrated people. One of them feels like I'm more celebrated than you. Um, but I don't know which one. But one feels much more celebrated. I'm more celebrated. I'm more important. I'm more relevant. And that's the way they see themselves. And when you do that in a relationship, somebody has got to lose. And a relationship is supposed to be about a mutual win, not... It's all about me, me, me. I don't know who that is. I don't. I kind of think I do. I kind of think that I do. It kind of goes along with Common saying that I'm important. People want to know what I think. I won this award and that award and yada, yada, yada. Okay. But if you have that kind of attitude that it's about I, 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 then you're definitely not this guy. Um, he goes back, though. They go back together. They go back. This is a card of nostalgia. They think about all the laughs and things that they had together. And um, they get back together. Enjoy those laughs. Enjoy those good times. Enjoy the foods and the activities that they used to do. They do care for each other. I can't say to you that it rises to, I'm in love. I don't see that it rises into I'm in love. It's I enjoy your company um, because they both are very busy. And I think Tiffany's a little more busy than him. And that's causing him to feel a way about that. Ultimately, I don't see it materializing for the long term because you see all these cups up in the air. And this is about dreaminess, all the things we could be doing, all the the love and the emotions and the wonderful, exciting things we could be doing. And that's great. You know, it's good to have dreams and hopes. So here's the problem, though. Every time y'all start doing something, this is what happens. You start arguing again. You start having difference of opinion. You start getting on some ego trip, some ego mess, and it this never materializes. So this is a dream. This is not real. And I don't mean that someone's asleep. I mean that you can't have a relationship based on fantasies of things. You know how you get back together and then you start thinking of all these wonderful things we could do and we used to do and we're going to do this and that again and we're going to be better this way and that. And then soon as you get tested with some little thing, you're back at it again. So is this relationship going to last? No, it's not. Um, Common doesn't want to really get tied down right now he enjoys her company but do i see it for the long haul no i don't mm -mm. there's the queen of swords yeah it's probably maybe even for her ended this time <laughs> because he thinks of her is her tongue is a little too sharp okay her tongue is a little too sharp he doesn't want to have to come and ask and this and that for nothing and um 
she's smart. Yes, she is. She's a very smart, intelligent lady. But for him, it feels like, you know, like if a woman comes to him and expresses their opinion, he takes it as a challenge. Like, oh, you're trying to challenge what I'm saying. Oh, you think you know more than me. Remember, I'm Zaddy. You don't know more than me. <laughs> so I, I'm wishing him luck on finding somebody that's going to bow down or whatever it is that he needs. And for Tiffany, too, I hope she finds this guy because that's the guy that she really is looking for, that she needs that will support her during her career. Guys, if you liked it, I hope you stayed for the whole thing. Um, once again, I am Joyce Jack Rabbit, Joyce All Knowing. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment. Let me know if you liked it. You guys have a great day.